Welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, and I try to make this a place for entrepreneurs to learn strategies that work for them, that help make their business and their life easier. Today, I want to tell you a story about why it was so hard for me to generate sales after I paid a lot of money for a professional marketer to do a sales page for me. So remember that this month we're talking about challenging the idea that we as entrepreneurs think we have to do things in a certain way. But here's what happened. I had received a personalized link to the website with my brandy new beautiful sales page and I spent hours pouring over it. The marketer had done a beautiful job because it was really gorgeous with a layout that the eye could move over very easily and I had paid $2750, so that's $2750 for a sales page to sell a $297 program. And I had to wonder if I was a total rube because, you know, the big dream for entrepreneurs is making enough money to just hire someone already. We just believe that, you know, once we have enough money, we can just farm everything out. And I definitely paid for that dream. But what happened to me was after I published the sales page, I had zero conversions and I tweaked with it and I fussed with it and I still nothing happened. And I really was annoyed about the whole thing, obviously, because I'd spent almost $3,000 on this, right? And it took me a long time to realize that this was not the fault of the marketer or the copywriter or the designer. It was, it was my fault. Here was the problem. I simply did not know my audience deeply enough. I hadn't quite nailed their pain points on the sales page. And what I thought that they wanted for results was really very off base. And ultimately, I had created a program that was not what my audience wanted. And this is 100% my fault. It was not the copywriter's fault or the marketer's fault or the designer's fault, even though I really wanted to blame somebody else. And that equaled zero sales. So why am I sharing this failure of mine? Well, I know that you really might dread content creation and marketing and messaging and actually writing your own sales page might send you into early retirement. And you probably spent a lot of time thinking like, oh, I just wish magical elves would come in and take care of this for me so I could get back to doing what I want to do in my business. And you might be thinking like all the fancy entrepreneurs just hire this out. And this isn't this what you should be doing? And I want to tell you that yes, they do. And someday you will too, that you'll be able to hire the world's greatest team and live your four hour a week work week on the beach. But before then, even if you had the cash money to hire a $5,000 copywriter for the day. But before then, even if you have the cash money to hire a $5,000 copywriter for the day, please, 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 please know exactly who you're speaking to and what they need to hear. Or else you're gonna be unhappy with whatever that person that you hired comes back with to you. Because something will be off. And you're going to feel really confused about why you dislike it because it is going to look and sound so great, but then it'll really start to bother you with more vehemency. I kind of, it reminds me of those times when, you know, like you get in the car and you're ready to go someplace and between here and that place that you're going, a chin hair pops up on your face. Has that ever happened to you? And you're like, how did this thing get here? but you can't really like pull it out because you're in a public place. And so you keep like touching your chin and it's bothering you, but you can't do anything about it until you finally just give up and go like buy a pair of tweezers and deal with it in the car. That's kind of what this feels like when you hire somebody to do something for you and then you get it back and it just doesn't fit right. It's going to bother you and it's going to be in your brain and you're going to try to figure it out. You're really going to start to resent the fact that you paid money for it. So I want you to basically always have your tweezers in your purse because that's what knowing your audience does for you. You need to know those people in your audience more deeply than they know themselves. And it took me a long time to figure out what I was doing wrong, but I did figure it out. And that is what I teach in a four-step process. So the audience first framework is what I'm going to be talking about with you. And you're going to learn how to do it over the course of our next few podcasts. But really the very first part of the audience first framework, the first step is to know your audience. Audience attraction is the number one thing that you need to focus on. This is the biggest mistake I see people making before they hire somebody. They assume they know their audience 
or they think they are their audience. Even people who've been in business for years are using the wrong language to connect with their audience. And it's maddening. You know your craft so well. You're such an expert, but you're still not able to connect in your content. And if you don't have connection, you don't have sales. And that's what I struggled with, with my very expensive sales page that went nowhere. So if you change one thing in your business, focus first on audience attraction and stop assuming that you know what your audience is thinking and stop assuming that you know what they need or want unless you have really dug in and asked them very specifically. So when you master understanding them, attracting them with your content is so much easier. And then selling is easier too, right? We want this to feel so much easier, almost just like breathing. And so I invite you inside the Content Creator Studio membership because I not only teach this framework, I show you how. You get trainings, you get support, you get feedback, you get a community too. And it's at a $37 a month price point. So it's at a pretty amazing price point. And that is actually ending on the 21st of March. So I will reopen it this summer at a higher price, but I wanted to invite you as a founder to join before then. And actually, when you join as a founder before 321, you get a one-on-one onboarding call. And actually, my clients are telling me inside the membership that they're getting clarity on things that they've been struggling with for like six months or more. So you're invited. You can grab it at jenliddy.com forward slash studio. You can grab your founder's spot. Promise you're not behind. Everything's recorded. There's nothing to catch up on. You just show up and get started. And yes, you can cancel anytime. So I wonder if you can really say with 100% certainty that you know what your audience is struggling with and be able to speak it back to them in their words. And if you can create a sales page for yourself before you hire somebody else, that's for anything, like whatever you're doing before you hire somebody to do it for you, make sure you know the messaging at a very deep level. I hope this is helpful for you. If you can remember that your audience comes first, everything in your content creation will be a lot easier. So I still invite you to come in to jenliddy.com forward slash studio, and I will see you next week on the podcast. Bye.